Hello friends, this video on mineral nutrition part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will introduce a new term, hydroponics. Now what is this hydroponics and why are we introducing a new term here? Okay, now as I said, a plant needs a lot of minerals. Now that is a very vague statement. How do I know which plant needs which minerals? Or how do we even know that a plant needs so many different types of minerals? So how do we know that? So everything, now since we are talking about science, so everything needs to be proved. So how was this proved? So there is a technique called hydroponics, which actually proved this fact that plants needs minerals for their growth, minerals or nutrients, whatever you call it. So this technique is named as hydroponics. Now what is hydroponics? The term hydro, as always, it means water. And what is the meaning of ponics? Ponics means labor. So now what is the meaning of labor of water? It basically tries to say that if minerals are present in water, that water has the capacity to grow a plant. So now, how? what is this all about? I, I'm sure you would have not got it completely right now. So now, <clears throat> what was done was that a plant was taken out of the soil. Now we all say that okay, soil is the reservoir of minerals. Soil is rich in minerals, so a plant gets all its minerals from the soil through its roots. Now if you take out a plant, if you take a plant out of the soil, and put it <coughs> in a jar containing water which is mixed with all the minerals so basically you call that solution as a nutrient solution so that concept was called hydroponics and this was first introduced or first demonstrated by a scientist named Julius von Sachs. So here you can see Mr. Julius picture. So he was the one who first introduced this concept of hydroponics. So all he did was he grew plants in a nutrient solution. So nutrient solution is nothing but water mixed with all the minerals and nutrients required by a plant for its growth and sustenance. Somewhat like this. Now you normally have a plant which is rooted in soil because we know that soil has all the important uh, minerals, elements which are required for its growth. You take the plant out of the soil and you put it in water. So here you can see that it is kind of a laboratory where plants have been put into water and this water is not plain water, it is a nutrient solution. So basically whatever minerals are present here, so similar minerals are present here. So it is not because of the soil that a plant grows but it is because of the minerals which are present in the soil, in the soil that a plant grows. And it was seen that the plant growth was absolutely good in this with this technique so now with this technique it became easy because inside the soil we don't know what are minerals are there and what are minerals are not there because it is a natural uh, naturally occurring thing the soil so we don't really know but here it is under our control the nutrient solution we are preparing the nutrient solution so if i want i'll put yeah, magnesium if I want I'll put sodium so the nutrient solution is under our control and changing the nutrient solution we can actually see the behavior of the plant for example let us suppose if I added a lot of nitrogen to the nutrient solution we saw that the plant started growing very well so we can uh, get an idea that okay so nitrogen is good for growth now when you remove say magnesium you saw that the flowers or fruits were not coming up so we can get an idea that okay magnesium is required for timely flowering and fruiting so that ways we can experimentally study the significance or the role of minerals in a plant. So hydroponics was very very important because had hydroponics been not there, we would have never been able to understand the role of different minerals in a plant. For example, it's, it's the practical applications in our day to day life is, for example in the agriculture, when the crop yield decreases, what do the farmers do? They put some fertilizers to increase the productivity. Now how do they know which fertilizer need to be applied? Because if the plant is deficient 
deficit if the plant has a deficiency of a particular mineral say phosphorus then he should apply a fertilizer which is rich in phosphorus right because if he applies a fertilizer which is rich in iron that is not going to help because the plant is deficient in phosphorus so you need so we need to know the role of each and every different mineral element so that we can take steps accordingly to rectify their uh, deficiency so I hope you understood the significance of this technique hydroponics. So from there, from the, from the time of Julius von Sachs started this concept of understanding the role of different minerals in the life of a plant. And that is where started this entire uh, subject of mineral nutrition. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.